Mr. Pamda, thank you very much for your time. Does COSATU indeed plan to meet with the rival federation, SAFTU, in order to develop a common campaign against the privatization of state-owned enterprises? Yes, uh, definitely, yes. That is what we are planning to do. You will remember that in our last Congress, we were actually discussing how do we increase the cooperation amongst trade unions. We've done a, a wonderful uh, work w with FEDUSA in NACT, at NATLEC, for example, on the issues of the national minimum wage. We cooperated. And uh, despite the minor differences that exist between COSATU and SAFT, <coughs> we have said uh, the issues facing workers are much bigger. Um, we will uh, manage those kinds of tensions uh, because when you look at the ongoing retrenchments, when you look at uh, the, 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 the privatization of SOEs, that is really what is going to be a, a big fight for us. I mean, even the public service is facing uh, possible retrenchments. So, indeed, uh, in the last CC, the, the CC instructed the National Office Bearers uh, to start the process of sitting down and uh, finding a common uh, ground. This will be the first joint campaign since the formation of SAFTU, which essentially is a breakaway of COSATU. What shape or form will this campaign take? Well, actually, uh, you would have noticed uh, in the year 2019 that uh, there were a lot of these campaigns at an affiliate level. I mean, NUM and uh, uh, NUMSA, for an example, uh, they, they had a march last year, they bought much to the union buildings. They had a picket uh, sometime this week, where they were picketing at ESCOM. You will remember also, going back to the, the last bus strike, where NUMSA and SATAW uh, worked very well together uh, uh, during the strike. So uh, at an affiliate level, this level of cooperation has already been happening. So all we want to do now is to make sure that even at a federation level, we are able to, to concretize this and make sure that uh, we unite workers, because that is what we are trying to do here, is to say, whether we have some differences or not, the issue here is that as and when we are retrenched as workers, uh, employers don't care whether you are wearing a soft or a cosat t-shirt, so workers have to be united. So that is uh, the message we're sending out. Mr. Pamela, the president has been at pains to point out that there will not be the privatization of ESCOM, for example. So which of these state-owned companies is at risk of being privatized. We are at a stage um, after 25 years of listening to presidents and promises where we do not uh, sit around hoping that what a, a sitting president or a politician has said is true. We are going to make sure that there is no privatization. We don't need anyone to, to, to actually promise us that there's no privatization. The reason why uh, you hear uh, the president and other people making those kinds of commitment is because of the pushback that they have received from the workers. So we, we, we are not outsourcing uh, this mandate. We are, we, are, we are dependent on someone making a commitment or a promise. We I, are going to stop privatization. I've got to push you again, yes. Mr. Pamela. Which companies are at risk of being privatized? If, if you listen to the National Treasury, if you listen to the, the Department of, of Public Enterprises, they have been saying that there are just too many of them, the SOEs that uh, they feel that some of them have to be privatized. So what we are saying is that it is, the privatization is not going to happen on our watch, simple as that. Even the restructuring that is taking place, we are going to make sure, make sure that workers are not uh, punished and victimized uh, through retrenchment. So that is our position. In the business day this morning, there is a report uh, that clearly the newspaper has obtained from the commission that looks at uh, state-owned enterprises. And uh, the suggestion from that report is that um, uh, the ANC seems to have endorsed a market-friendly approach to the energy crisis, and this will include uh, the purchasing of um, energy by municipalities, in particular metros from independent power producers. Do you go along with that? Have you been taken into confidence about that decision at the NEC Lehotla? Yeah, we were part of the uh, NEC Lehotla, so we were actually very happy. Uh, uh, just to add to that, the ANC also uh, adopted the COSATU proposal on how to rescue the power utility in terms of developing a funding model that we, we, we presented in the Alliance Political Council meeting. And then we have agreed that we are going to continue the engagements to make sure that we find a common ground and we are all on the same page because 
Uh, we all agree, the, both the, uh, all alliance partners, that ESCOM should continue to be a state-owned uh, power utility. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the details that we are going to thresh out as we go forward. Uh, we are clear that we are going to uh, save jobs. We are clear that ESCOM is not going to be privatized. As to how do we then make sure that it becomes more efficient, those are the details that... Uh, Saving jobs have. using PIC monies which workers' pensions are invested in? Uh, when you say using PIC money, you, you pretend as if PIC currently is not at risk. PIC has already invested something like 98 billion at ESCOM. So if you allow ESCOM to collapse, you are saying that that 100 billion should be thrown out the window. So we are actually trying to make sure that the money that is already invested by the PIC is actually uh, uh, rescued. Because if we allow the power, the, the power utility to implode, that money will be lost. Secondly, PIC, for PIC to, to survive, for workers to continue to contribute, we need an economy that is functioning. So you collapse the power utility, the economy collapses, everybody else goes to PIC asking for their money because they are unemployed. So the, the, the idea of PIC uh, actually bailing out ESCOM is a myth. What we are trying to do here is to make sure that we have a functioning economy so that institutions like PIC can continue to exist because PIC is dependent on workers' contributions. Workers can only contribute when they are employed. All right. Cesar Pamda, thank you very much for your time. He is uh, Kosatu's spokesperson.